Forget it. Okay. Let's see. I want to clear out every floor before I move on. I'm going to move down and try and get the very first recording, which I happen to know is on the first floor. Oh, I think this is the highest... Is this the highest floor that actually has to... No, it's not. Okay. Always ask questions and then have them answered seconds later. <laughs> and as you see... Oh. What? So am I on the third of the... When was I on the third floor? Hmm. It's been on the second floor, or the fourth floor rather, this whole time. Haven't I? I don't think I missed anything. So I hope not. Uh, oh well. Obviously the game intended for you to go on this floor first because both areas exit you right here. This is what, I think this is what takes you to the... <gasps> No, this is the kitchen. This doesn't take you to the outer floor. Hmm. There are actually three servant models. There's one that's kind of normal. This one is just rather tall and lanky. And then there's this little small squat one. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like a kid or what. Or just kind of a small fat person. I don't know. Hopefully didn't kill him. Apparently not. If it would have killed him, I would have lost the mission, so... I think it's alright. really feel sorry for the servants, but as far as I know, there's... No canon means of reversing the process, so... They're kind of screwed. Alright, I can just wait down there for now. Poor things, but such neat creatures, though. As I said, love that they added them. It was really brilliant. They had a lot of really cool ideas in this game. Huh... Okay. So friend Vilna has the soul key. Good to know. Ah, that's helpful. Most of the watches are are disabled. Hmm. All right. I'm on the fifth floor now. Well, should I just? No, I want to go down and finish up. Damn it. I want to go down and finish up the fourth floor and below first. Because, I mean, the important stuff will be towards the top, if I'm not mistaken. Obviously, that's for an alarm, so you don't want to put off any alarms. Did I open this already? Yeah, I did. Okay. Let's move on down, then. Where was that? Oh, that's when I was on the third floor when I went, was in the library. Hmm. What shadow passed my vision? Uh-oh. Huh. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Whew, that was kind of close. Glad that I happened across him here, otherwise that could have been a little problematic. I don't want nosy mechanists snooping around these floors with all the bodies hanging around. <laughs> Alright. So, where was the elevator? I was just about to check my map and I realized that was pointless. Elevator, elevator. Around here somewhere. Nah. Come on. That's where it just was. Get more footsteps? No. <sighs> oh, but as I was saying though, they took a big risk taking a different direction with Thief 2. And I hope, I don't know if it actually paid off for them financially, but I think it really paid off thematically anyway. Because they could easily have just made Thief 2 be just like Thief 1 in the sense that more crazy monsters and stuff. Because that's what it was, Thief was about as far as the first game established. But obviously they decided to take a different direction with this game. And I'm glad that they did. I like the idea of all the additional mechanical stuff and the servants and Karis and all this machinery and kind of the questions raised by it. It's really interesting. Is there anything down here? Okay. I don't want to send that up there since there's actually no way to call it back down then. That's as far as I can... I suppose there was a button on the outside, wasn't there? <sighs> okay, whatever. I believe that there is one... child of Karis around here somewhere. Yep. Yep. 
if we can get around it. Sweet. If you half feel like a badass, half feel freaked out. Ooh. Hmm. Well, here's a great use for this. Come on, gotta work fast. Oh boy. Come on, faster, faster. Whatever. I think I'm I think I'm fine. Hope so anyway. Uh Yep, we're all good. Those things still freak me out. In a good way, though. I mean, I like them. I like them. Personally, though, I, I still find these mechanical beasts more concerning than zombies or haunts or anything like that. I guess it's just kind of what I was exposed to as a kid. Even though I know that they're still not... They're not particularly dangerous anymore, but... They're still more dangerous than any zombie, I'd say. In spite of how well I understand how to kill them. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, that was close. That was really close. I got the scene. Yeah, it definitely saw me. Oh, well. Okay, so it gave up on it. Let's listen in, shall we? Message number one of six. Is this functioning? Oh. My good guest, welcome to Angel Watch. I have gathered you here, citizens of exceptional greeting. For a fine and festive evening. The builder's work never ceases. Thus, I am not able to attend in person, but I am present in heart and voice, as you can plainly hear. Franvinia will be your host in my absence. Now, our evening together begins. Yeah, so the game intentionally points you to the fourth floor, at least with the way I went in. Um, which is good, because one of the first things you find out is that there, he gave his servants to the noble folk. Oh, well, let's do the second floor next, and the third, and I'll head up to the fifth, and then the sixth. And then I believe that should be mostly it. And we still have to get back to where we started the, the game, the mission. Cool how there's these weird shapes for the doors. What? Oh, is this? I think this is where I'd come in if I came in from outside, isn't it? Let's find out. Real quick. Pretty sure it is, though. I think this is my way in. Or. Whatever. I assume it is. Also, it's another way to move around. So many options in this level. This is. There's a very great reason why this level is just so brilliant. I mean, think of how many conversations there have been in the mission already, and yet there's still more. This mission, I'd say, is more conversations than any, any other mission in Thief 2. This mission is definitely the most non-linear and interlaced and just overall the most interesting of all the missions in Thief 2. And that's not because any mission in Thief 2 is particularly bad, mind you. It's just because this one is so good. And I'd say it definitely shows that it was a labor of love. A lot of readables, too. Oh, we've read this before. All right. The information from the instructions, excuse me, from Vilnia. Uh. <laughs> Probably searching for me now. Yep, let's try this again. I can do better than terribly, I think. So, let's just have to be patient this time. Mm. Come on. Good cog, is that you? 
What a weird expression. Oh. Still coming at me. There we go. Aha, you are mine. It's kind of funny. Um, since I've done some modifications for this game, I know kind of how the AI's textures and stuff work. And actually, the textures for the females are exactly the same as the textures for the males in everything except for the face. Of course, the women have a different kind of face than the, the men do. But beyond that, it's all the models. So... Their enormous, maybe even ridiculously enormous racks are completely in the model. But other than that, they're exactly the same as a, as a male. Which, I don't know, I guess it makes no difference because how else would they really do it? But I mean, it's just... In a way, it just seems kind of funny. Something right behind this. Uh... I have no clue from behind here. Listen, right here, in case anyone comes at me, I can just knock him out. Hopefully I catch a patrol coming around or something. That'd be nice. Kind of speed up my work here. Come on. What could be behind here? I just can't think of anything. That could be that important. Jeez. Maybe it's like a high priest's room or something. Uh, okay. Just some random thing, whatever. Don't know why the hell this matters so much. Okay. <laughs> that was a lot of effort for just a couple goblets. I guess they care a whole lot about their valuables. I suppose I have to open this the same way, don't I? I suppose no. I haven't got any keys from Angel Watch yet. <sighs> Strap in, folks. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Uh, I think that overall, even though this is kind of boring, just kind of standing here watching the knob jiggle, I think I kind of prefer the mechanic of the lock breaking to just be this simple. You know, just use the lock pick on the door and wait for it to be done. True, it's kind of uninvolved and maybe a little boring by modern standards, but... I haven't yet found a lockpicking mechanic that I really like. Come into the light so that I might see thee. That seemed kind of pointless to you. It's just because I want to make sure I am able to go anywhere I need to or potentially want to go. Thou, friend? Oh, I could just... Whatever. Well, now I have the key for that door, so... Yay. I'm an idiot. You just wait right the hell here. Down. Down, boy. There. Okay. Wait for this guy to pass. I like the look of this little temple here. Even though it is kind of simple and squat and stuff. Maybe even a little dull looking in a way. I don't know. I still kind of like it. I love that music. What's it called? Uh, Gregorian. That's it. That Gre Those Gregorian um... Whatever. Message number three of six. Lord the Lady, behold the Builder Chapel. It is here we reflect upon the Builder's great plan. The servants I am giving thee are examples of our striving towards his ideal. Before they were servants, the souls behind the masks were lost and unproductive. Now, they are models of efficiency. Alas, if only I could be there to share with thee the wonder of this moment. But I digress. On with the tour. The best thing about uh, Karis having this pre-recorded tour is that it's nice and brief. <laughs> you don't have to listen to your host jabbering on and on about crap. Having a constant running commentary. No one likes running commentaries. They suck. They're so boring. I hate listening to, this, to one person talking for hours at a time. Yes, I'm being ironic right now, and I'm well aware of it. And that's the joke. 
Ounce bullet, no. He does not. That little key is not my saving grace. Look at all these broadhead arrows. That's just nuts. It's nuts. I'm telling you. Ooh. Nope. Nope. Some random storeroom. Well, not necessarily random. That makes it sound like it's pointless or something. It's kind of cool. Probably something on the, on the um, top shelf or something here, huh? Why are all these crates stacked up then? That'd be some purpose for it. Something you need to stand on, maybe, in order to see what's above. Oop, come on, come on. Ah. Come on. There we go. Uh, really? Nothing? I refuse to believe it. There's gotta be something up here of value. Hmm. Wooden bowls. Not particularly valuable. No, nothing. Huh. Wonder what the deal is then with the uh, crates. Why so many crates when they're pointless? Maybe this is more po pointful. Nah. I like the little door there though. That's kind of cool. Obviously, it's just a shutter, but it's good use of it. Yep. Come on. I don't know exactly what I'm unlocking, since there's clearly no lock on there, but whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm not too annoyed by that kind of thing, because, you know, it, it, Thief, you're kind of used to, in Thief, objects not necessarily being the most sensible all the time. It's just kind of the way it is. I guess that's really no excuse, but it's an excuse I'll use anyway, so there. To Vilnia. Oh, okay, so now we know which goes where. Alright. So I'm kind of in the right order, aside from those two being switched around. I think dining room is... Whichever floor the kitchen was on. I think that was... Was that the fifth floor? Or was it the fourth or the third floor? I don't know. I'm thinking, though, that maybe the gallery is on the third floor and the, and the dining room is on the fifth floor. The ballroom, I know, is on the sixth floor. The machine for our special guest. Hmm. Odd. Interesting. Wonder who that could be. Let's continue on. Finish up this level and we can move on up. Ooh. Oh boy. What this? Oh, that's cool. I didn't know I could do this. Well, that's hella neat. Huh. I'm glad, I'm glad that there's actually a, the ability to climb up on this and have, like, a point to it. I mean, it makes sense since there's all, since there's all these uh, grates in the ceiling, so... Just begging to have someone try out the vine arrows on them. Hello. I safe here? Yeah. And I think this is kind of where the... Where it's supposed to be where the... Builder's children or children, children of Karis, whatever. Where they kind of sit to recharge or whatever. Wonder why someone has a hammer. Come on, get it with the times. It's all about the mace. No one gives any damn about hammers anymore. Also, strangely, not that much stuff in these. I guess this is the quarters where all the... Mechanist stay and those ones before that I said were mechanist court. What? There's nothing at all in there? Really? Huh. Those other ones must have just been quarters for mi minor guests. I almost said miniature guests. That'd be stupid. Minor guests. I wonder if the is this like their only generator? I think I made sense, sense before, but this squeaky sound makes me think of the Urgnox from Star Wars. And also, this should be spinning. Clearly it's making noise, and yet it's not spinning, like it could be. It probably should be. 